Hello and welcome to this lesson on the tune Donkey Riding. I used to think that this was a Christmas song until I learnt the words and the donkey in the tune of course is an old uh, engine that was used to load things onto boats uh, apparently so now we know. Uh, anyway great tune to play lots of fun to sing and play. Um, on this DG Melodium we're in the key of G major and we have a time signature of 2 4 that means there are two beats in each bar, so we're counting one, two, one, two. We only use three buttons with our right hand in this tune, and those are on my melodium buttons, four, five, and six might be three, four, and five on yours. The first note of the tune is a G, on the G row, button three or button four, and it's finger one on the push. That's your first note. Um, these days I like to teach the bass and the treble at the same time. I think it helps to build up the tune as you go in this way, rather than learn the, the tune all the way through and then put the bass in. So that's what we're gonna do. There's no pickup bar on this tune, so we're straight into the main tune on bar one. And we have this a little section there. Now you have with the right hand G, A, B, B. You've got a dagger underneath the second note indicating that you can play that note with the bellows. If you prefer, you can repress the button like that, but I prefer to go like that. Notice the notes, you've got a dotted quaver and a semi-quaver, and then you've got two quavers. So you will count that one, a two, and one, a two, and, or if you like, one and a two, and. and where that first and was, uh, that is where the dot is, if you like, because a dotted quaver, it's very hard to count, isn't it? Because a dotted quaver is a quaver and a semi-quaver glued together. It's impossible to count thinking of it along those terms. But if you say one, a two, and, you'll have the right timing. Like that. Finger one deals with the first two notes. And finger two is needed for those B notes. Uh, the general direction is push with that little pull note there. But luckily that comes where there is no bass. As far as the bass is concerned, it's the classic um pa um pa. Uh, you've got G, bass, G chord. So you have like that. 